A push to ban grass in New Mexico to save water failed to gain footing at the Roundhouse today. A group of Democrats wanted to do away with non-residential lawns that are purely decorative. Here's News 13's Natalie Wattis. The bill would have banned the installation of decorative turf by 2025 and then eventually ban using potable water for it. This law would not have applied to homes. While there are appropriate and important places and uses for irrigated turf, like our parks, sports fields, playgrounds, and even our yards, much irrigated turf has little or any purpose, functional purpose. Transforming our landscapes from non-functional turf grass to drought-resilient and climate-resilient landscapes reduces our outdoor water demand and ensures our limited water resources are used efficiently. Backers of House Bill 352 pointed at recent drought and climate change as the reasoning behind this push. It would have meant the end of lawns around businesses or on the grassy two-mile median on Academy and along sidewalks. Essentially, anywhere people don't play. Any community on a public water system would have been affected by this bill. Putting the burden on local communities that they have to police areas of their particular district so that they are in compliance with this. In the end, a House Agriculture and Water Committee split the vote four to four on it, effectively killing this bill. Back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you. Now, there are places around the state that offer rebates for people who tear out their grass and put in xeriscaping. The Albuquerque Bernalillo County Water Authority says its customers have removed almost half a square mile of grass over the last 25 years as part of that rebate program.